Okay. Hey YouTube, we're back for another Elvira collection. As you can see, I've got a little clip inside. This is the bowling alley that I haven't really come in to explore just yet. But uh, you can see there's a claw machine sitting right there to the side. Um, there's obviously another vendor that supplies stuff in here. This is just a quick little view down the hallway. See, to my left is the sports bar, and to my right is Garth Halley's uh, restaurant and tavern where I have the machine. And, like I've shown in the previous video, it's just not in the right spot. It needs to be in the sports bar behind this wall, or it needs to be out here in the bowling alley. Alright, sorry, so we're inside the restaurant now, and as you can see, here's the pinball machine. I just opened the door on it, so it disables the screen. When we turn around and look, see how empty it is in here? There's like literally nobody in here. It's just, the restaurant comes and goes with business, but it's just not consistent. As you can see over here, they got this area cleared out, but usually there's one or two dinner tables one on each side of that blue tape. It's usually always blocking the ability to play darts right there, but I think they move it out of the way when dart leagues come in here, because they do have some kind of dart league that plays. I'm not sure if it's over in a sports bar. I think they come over here to do that, but there's only two. <laughs> and, um, so yeah, it's just kind of a weird space, but then when I turn around, you see all the chairs and stuff here which is just an example of why I don't think that my game gets played much in here, which is why I've been waiting on all this renovation stuff, whatever this guy was doing, um, so that I can move the pinball machine from this area over to the sports bar or the bowling alley because for some reason the parking lot today had quite a few cars. I'll try and get a clip of that on my way out of here. But uh, in the parking lot, there was a lot more traffic than there usually is. Um, granted, it's Friday, and um, on Friday and Saturday, you're going to have more business. But lately, even on the weekends, until the band starts later on and that's over at the bar, I just don't see any traffic in here. But I remember the guy was telling me four months, like the summer months here are kind of dead. And then uh, just league nights and stuff for bowling and darts and pool seem to bring in the crowd, but they're all focused on that stuff or the live music. They just don't come over here. And like I said, when you walk into the restaurant, that whole room in there, you have to come through this hallway, this little cubby into this back room in order to know the pinball machine is even here. When you first walk in, you can't even see it from either entrance into the restaurant. So again, people, um, one of the reasons there is low collections in this game right now is because of the area it's in. But we're gonna see over the last week and a half, you know, what popped up in the bill acceptor, and I can tell you it's not gonna be much. But you can see it's, <laughs> there's a few dollars in there, but it's, yeah, it just isn't much. Um, okay, trying to hold this phone and do this at the same time, yeah. Um, so, one, two, three, four, five. Well, the last week and a half to two weeks that we were here, there was only three ones. Now there's five. So, it's went up by two. And this is what I was talking about when I said that it gets busier as the months go. Well, it's still July, but that's a good sign. I mean, every extra dollar makes a difference. I don't see anything in the coin collector. Well, I can see one or two quarters down there. You can't see them, but I can see them. So, um, I'll check the quarters and I'll get right back to you guys. Well, guys, <clears throat> I'm pleasantly surprised that's quite a bit of quarters in the week and a half. The last time I was here, there was three dollars in quarters and there were three ones. So this is quite a bit more quarters than were in there the last time and a couple more dollars. So, hey, I can't complain. That means it's going up a little bit. So we will uh, 
end the collection here for the moment so I can get everything wrapped up and then I'll come back for a sec before I end the video. Okay, YouTube. So after playing a couple of games, I realized that where my finger is pointing, that arrow to the drop target that's down right now, once I start the game, it'll pop that back up. But you roll the ball through there and it locks the ball for a multi-ball. Well, it's not allowing the ball to lock. It keeps throwing the ball back out and it won't lock. So there's something going on with the mechanism. Something's stuck, I'm not exactly sure. But welcome to my first problem with a pinball machine on location. Now, it's getting too late and they're gonna be closing, so I don't have time to work on it now. And the game will function properly without the multi-ball feature. So that'll be disabled, but when I get a chance to come in here and actually work on that ball lock system, I will do somewhat of a video um, in here live while I'm working on it. Uh, well, it won't be live for you guys, but I'll, when I come in here to work on it, I'll, I'll get a video and um, you'll get to see how my first problem and first fix goes on Elvira House of Horrors. Why, mysteriously, not owning this game for even a solid year, is the ball lock mechanism not working properly. Hopefully it's just something that's stuck. We can fix it easy. Or I may have to purchase a part and may have to learn how to put a part in. So uh, stay tuned down the road for when that video comes. Um, I have no idea until I look into it a little bit further just exactly how to go about fixing this. But we will fix it. It will be fixed. And with that being said, you can't really tell, but the glass is really smudged. I started cleaning on it, so it's a little bit cleaner than it was before I kicked on the video. But um, basically, I'm gonna give this a good cleaning. I'm gonna wipe down all the buttons. I'm gonna give it another test play or two, which I, I, I won't be able to film all that, but, but I'm gonna wipe this puppy down and uh, you can see I've got my Windex. <laughs> paper towels and then uh, once this is clean and germ free again and I play a game or two to make sure that's the only issue we'll be out of here for the night and then I'll come back on here real quick before the video ends and give you guys the total for my collection <clears throat> okay guys we are back at the car so I went in on this collection <clears throat> and surprisingly there was five dollars in bills and there was ten dollars and quarters in the machine so i collected 15 out of this collection now the last two or three times i've been here to collect five dollars has been the most more or more or less that i've actually been able to pull out of the machine so the first month on location made about 100 120 bucks second month the first two weeks still making 20 bucks a week and then the last two weeks it dropped off to hardly anything and then all the way up until the last collection and this collection, it's been virtually dead outside of maybe five bucks any given time. So now it went back up to 15 in that week, week and a half range. So that's promising. That means there's more business coming through here or that means that people have noticed it or something. But every dollar that increases is another dollar made, is another, uh, you know, indication that somebody picked up on the machine somebody wanted to play it i don't know Any, anyways all i'm saying is more money is a good thing even if it is only 15 bucks we also discovered an issue that issue is going to have to be fixed otherwise the game isn't going to play right and that will eventually cost me money i'm sure people will still play the game but once enough people realize that the ball lock isn't working or or they realize it's a ball lock those that don't know the machine you know, it's going to create problems. I'm not going to shut the machine down over that because there's too much to the game for that to completely destroy its playability, shall we say, especially to beginner players, That, in my opinion. But I don't like to do that. It's just I'm hardly making anything on the machine, so I, I need to keep it running while it's here to, you know, at least cover my gas. Um, 
but yeah, I feel bad. I need to fix that problem. So I'm gonna figure out why it's not locking the balls under the house. And once I figure out what to do or what direction I'm gonna take with it, I'll put a video out for that. And uh, maybe a couple of videos, maybe one explaining and then maybe one actually working on the machine. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. It's another collection. Things are looking up. I made a few more dollars. And we'll see you on the next one. Please like and subscribe and leave comments down below.